earlier this week, USDA released their January crop production and World Ag Supply and Demand Estimates report, and it showed that we have more acres than we expected, 98.8 million planted acres, which is the largest that we've had in about nine decades, going back to the 1930s. And in addition to that, they raised the corn yield to 186.5 bushels per acre, which is a record yield by more than seven bushels per acre. So together, these two changes mean that we are looking at a corn crop that is 17 billion bushels, another record setting production year, and not just by a little margin, but by almost 11%. So we have a lot of corn that needs to find a place to go. So far we do have, we are on pace for record demand, which is a positive as well. But as we look ahead to 2026 and what the market is signaling for, for corn acres now and going forward, I think that high supply is here to stay. And so our growers, uh, grower leaders from across the nation are here in Louisville this week and we're talking about solutions and we're thinking big and we're thinking bold uh, because that's going to be really important as we think about this growing structural difference between supply and demand in the future. Yeah, we're thinking about new ways that we can be using corn. We, you know, things like exports and feed demand and on-road ethanol use have all been major market segments uh, up until this point and they will continue to be but as we have more corn that we're producing we need to think of new ways to use it too and one of the exciting things is that ethanol can be used in a lot of different ways than just on our roads um, it can be used in aviation and maritime it can also be used in products like plastics and fibers and so these are some of the things that we are talking about 2026 is a pivotal year high supply is here to stay and so our future depends on how effectively we can protect the demand that we have and build new demand for the future.